All right, so when dealing with this problem here, I have cosine squared of y divided by 1 minus sine of y. And let me just kind of go through some problems that we've dealt with before. Ladies and gentlemen, when I said simplify something and I had 5 divided by 4 minus square root of 3, or let's say I did a problem that I had 2 divided by 1 plus i. And when we said simplify these, right, we didn't want to divide by a rational number or an imaginary number. So you remember, what did we multiply to get rid of our denominator? The, the bottom. But what special part of the bottom? The, the conjugate of your denominator. So it would be 4 plus square root of 3. Okay, And then here you do 1 minus i. All right? And when we multiplied a, number, a binomial by its conjugate, we got rid of our imaginary number, and we got rid of our i squared. Right? Now, I don't know if I want to get rid of my sign, but I want to see if I can rewrite this without doing, uh, right, having a rational expression. Now, just kind of following the pattern, what do you guys think I'd want to multiply? What do you think I can try multiplying on my denominator here? 1 plus sign, right? So let's just go and give that a shot. I don't know if it's, how it's going to eliminate it. I understood this eliminated the rational number because it gave me um, the square root of 3 squared, which was 3. And this got rid of my imaginary number because it gave me i squared, which is negative 1. But what's going to happen now if when I multiply by the conjugate? So when I multiply by the conjugate, I'm going to 1 plus sine of y. Okay. Now. I'm not going to distribute up top. I'm just going to leave that as is for right now. So I get cosine squared of y times 1 plus sine of y. Now, remember when you multiply a, a, a binomial by its conjugate, you create a difference of two squares. Meaning all you need to do is multiply the first two terms, which would be 1 squared, and multiply the second two terms, which would be minus sine squared of y. Well, 1 squared is just 1, right? All right. So what I did is when I multiplied this by its conjugate, what I created was a sine squared, or well, 1 minus sine squared. And sine squared is very helpful because now we can use what identities? Quotient, reciprocal, even odd, Pythagorean, right? Now we can apply the Pythagorean identities. And is 1 minus sine squared a Pythagorean identity? Yeah. And what is it equal to by using the Pythagorean identities? Cos cosine, cosine squared. So I have cosine squared of y times 1 plus sine of y divided by cosine squared of y. Hey, guess what? Those divide out to 1. My final answer is 1 sine of y. OK? So if you got that right, give yourself an M.